During a hearing that lasted more than three hours, attorneys for the Diocese of Buffalo and the Committee of Sexual Abuse Survivors indicated that despite years of court-ordered mediation, they have not been able to agree on a settlement for the, more hundred, for the more than 900 claims against the diocese. Now it's up to a federal judge to decide what happens next. Attorneys for the diocese and abuse survivors argued back and forth about a motion the diocese made to prevent lawsuits against Catholic parishes from moving forward. There was little the two sides agreed on other than the fact that so far, negotiations have not been fruitful. Survivor's attorney Elon Scharf says they're at an impasse and allowing lawsuits against parishes to move forward in state court could break that logjam. Diocesan attorney Steve Donato said such a ruling would create chaos and havoc. He argued for a third mediator to be appointed. Donato also acknowledged under questioning from U.S. bankruptcy judge Carl Buckeye that recent church closings were at least partly influenced by which churches had the highest resale value. Buckeye, though, said if parishioners donated directly to a church and not the diocese, those funds might not be available for any sex abuse settlement. He reserved his decision on the lawsuits against Catholic parishes who have had an accused abuser, but he is expected to make a final decision about that at a hearing in two weeks. As for Bishop Michael Fisher, a church attorney said today he would be at the hearing, but Fisher did not show. On your side, live in Buffalo, Charlie Speck, Channel 2 News.